a couple of recent videos I was showing this mini lathe. This one's an AMA 714B and uh, in the last video I was showing it cutting various materials, everything from plastic up through steel, uh, aluminium, brass to titanium. And uh, in the video I commented that um, if you're machining titanium, especially on a larger machine, you need to be careful because the swarf can catch fire. And uh, inevitably I had the usual um, contradictions, people saying, uh, well that's ridiculous, um, titanium melts at very high temperature, uh, so it's not going to melt on a, a lathe. Um, well, I never said it would melt, I said it would catch fire. Um, but it did um, make me think it might be quite an interesting demonstration. So in this very short video, I'm just going to demonstrate what I was referring to. I would also say at this point that looking around, I believe there are probably other mini lathes that are uh, very similar to this and, and might be uh, quite good. Uh, but I was really limiting what I was looking for to something that was uh, kind of fairly easy to get up um, stairs or, or move around. This weighs 40 kilos, so it's quite heavy, but some that look very similar to this are up around 75 kilos, and I would say that's more of a small lathe rather than a mini lathe. Um, but it, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But uh, anyway, on to the main purpose of this video. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a piece of titanium in the chuck, and all I'm going to do is turn off uh, maybe half a millimeter, and generate a bit of uh, swarf, and we'll see if it will actually burn. Uh, the, the danger really I'm talking about here is uh, anyone that knows if you machine uh, components uh, you quite often end up with the final component is only 10% of the original material, sometimes less, and so you end up with a huge amount of swarf and that can very quickly build up uh, under the bed of the, uh, the lathe, the machine, and it's something that you do need to keep cleared out. Um, often it's a uh, danger of it kind of thrashing around and injuring you, uh, but with titanium the point I was making was that it can actually catch fire. So we'll demonstrate that and uh, hopefully you'll find the um, demonstration fairly interesting. So we'll get a bit of uh, material machined off this. Okay, I've machined about half a millimetre just to get some swarf built up and what we'll do now is I'll just gather that up and put it onto a small plate. Okay, so you can see that the amount builds up quite quickly so this is, um, as I say, about half a, a millimetre. I was clearing it away as, a, as I was um, producing it but this is all off just this small section. You do get a huge amount building up especially when you take light cuts. We now take just an ordinary barbecue lighter, so it does not need particularly high temperatures to get it to ignite. So you can see how much heat this generates, it was enough to break the plate it was sitting on. I could feel, I was about a metre away and I could feel the heat coming off this. Now if that had been a big pile of um, this swarf underneath the bed of the lathe, then of course that could very easily do a huge amount of damage to the lathe and with all the oil and grease you normally get on the lathe, that could have done an awful lot of damage. And it is almost impossible, once it gets going, it's almost impossible to put it out. It does take off very quickly. 
And this was just a tiny bit of uh, swarf that I produced. And you can see it was easily enough heat to destroy this plate. So um, hopefully found that interesting. As I said, my, my comment was really, if you're machining titanium, there are other materials that you need to be aware of as well. But if you're machining something like titanium, just be aware that um, you do need to be careful with the swarf uh, because if this does ignite um, on the machine, then um, it's extremely difficult to deal with the fire.